Hello everyone, in today's video, we will be breaking down this reel. Struggling to turn views into real clients? Your content might look good. So let's get started. So first we want to create our white background. So I will just go in the project section, new item and I will just select color mate. And once this is done, I will just make sure to make it to 1080 by 19 by 20. This will be the reel size and I will move this to white and an ok and i will bring it to the timeline so this is our background so the first animation we will just set up the whole frame then we can animate it and place all the text so let's get started first i will just bring in this money png to the timeline and if we see uh, its position i will just simply make sure to scale it up a bit and i can just simply rotate it like this and i can go to facts and i will search for flip i will just make sure to drag in horizontal flip or you can just choose vertical flip this will be like this i will go back to facts control and i can just simply now make it and simply position it place it this is approximately here now if we see our other two images will be there so i will just make a copy of it and I will move this down so I will just bring it here add a bit of rotation to it and scale it up to something like this and now I will make a copy of the other one too and simply move it like this and it will be approximately to something like here like this and I will just make sure the opacity is something like this and for this one too the opacity will be approximately 60 to 59 so this is now we want to create this lines and the background so i will just simply bring this to the timeline and now i can just simply make sure to place it here this will be like this and i will just bring these uh, bring these three upward and this will be this will be at this i will just move these up and i will bring this down now i will just simply bring these down again like these three and like here so if we see in the video if we see in the video it's uh big this is big and there is an opacity down so i will just move to the screen and i will select this one go to facts control and i will make it something bigger and for this one i will just make sure to make it big also but what we need to do i will just go in this pasty section and i will create a mask around this a random mask like this this is like here i can just simply bring this to like here and i can also drag this mask to something like this now i will just play with this mask feather so this will be approximately here this is looking good now now what we need to do we need to add the text so i will just go in premiere composer and from here i can just simply bring in this fade character one like this and i will just simply make sure to go to properties and from here i will just first change this color to red this will be okay and now this is like here so i will just select it and make it to something like this so this will be here and in this section i will just rename it so this will be the text and now if we see there is a font so i will just go and i will choose this hell with the car around it and i will make the first letter of this capital like this so this is cool mm, i will just go back to properties and now i will scroll down and from here i will just increase its scale to something like this now once this is done we will just have to create this zoom effect and uh, then this uh, at the line so how can we create that so first we will create this text and then we will create the zoom so once this is approximately here i will just uh, add a marker here so our next animation will start from here i will just go to graphic templates and i will use this preset like this and if we see the text to turn views so i will just make sure to add that type text so this is the text and i will just change its color to black 
approximately here and in the font section i will choose this font again and now i will just scroll down and i can just simply make this big or small and i will just bring these text here i will just scale it down or i can just select it like this and place it wherever i want to i will just make it smaller to turn views so if we play the video our text animation will be like this if you want to make this slow or fast you can just press ctrl r and adjust the speed from here now if we move forward we have these lines so how can we create that what i can do i will just make a text layer and i can type in dash and i can change its color to black from here first make sure to select it and then change its color to black like this if i will just make it bigger to see full view so it is like this i will just make sure to make it something bigger and in the properties i will change its font to something bigger and bolder this is okay and now i will just bring it here now what i will do i will make a copy of it and simply just rotate it to 90 degrees so it will be like this i will just make sure to bring it approximately here so this is ready i will just select both and i will nest it I'll make sure to select both and nest them this will be okay now i will make another copy of it and i can just simply bring it to the other side as well i can just rotate it if we see or i can go to facts and i can just apply the this horizontal flip and now i will just make sure uh, to double click i will double click here and i can just simply make it to like this so this is like this these two sides are created now what i will do i will just simply make another text layer again like this and move it here and again type a dash and now once this is here i will just make it bigger uh, for example i will just move it inside this sequence and from these two lines i will just make sure to copy the values the scale will be 150 so i will just move back and i will just make the scale to 150 and if we see i will just scroll it down and i will place it approximately here now i will make another copy of it and i can just simply go here and i will apply a vertical flip and i will go to effects controls now i will select it and uh, if we see it's here so i will just uh, make sure to no text layer is selected i will just simply bring this i will just make it to 150 and uh, this is approximately here and i can just simply select this and i will bring it to here so this is like this i will just simply again make sure to nest this whole sequence and now i will make a copy and paste it here and i will go to facts i will apply the vertical flip to it and now i can just simply move this upwards to place it somewhere in it somewhere like this so this is the rough setup how you can do this but if i want to make this effect this flickering effect so how can i create that i will just select all these i will just nest them again and now one i will just add an opacity keyframe and i will make the opacity to zero i will move a few frame i will make the opacity back to approximately 70 86 and then i will just decrease it like this and now i can simply just again increase it to like this and now i can just simply copy this keyframe move this and so it will be like this so this will be our animation you can see and if we want to create this zoom effect like this zoom effect so how can we create that so once this is moving here and uh, i will just simply make sure to cut this whole sequence here except the background and i will just simply right click on them nest them okay and i will bring this down now i will add a scale and position keyframe and i will just simply move a few frames once this is appearing here i can just simply 
make sure to zoom it like this so it will be giving us this animation you can move this as well and you can ease in and at the last frame you can also adjust the positioning as well if you want to and now i will just simply again ease in the whole frame this is like this now if we see at the start we have this animation so how can we do that this is the simple one so i will just select all these two and i will simply just nest them and i will add a position rotation all these keyframes and move them as our final position and at the start i will just simply make it like this approximately and i will also add the opacity keyframe make the opacity to zero and by moving here i will make opacity back to 100 so it will be giving us this animation i can just select all these keyframes and simply just ease in them and it will be giving us this animation you can just simply adjust the keyframe spacing to make this look good like this now if we move forward we have this animation so how can we create that so this animation is ending approximately here i will make a cut to make a difference now i will select this rectangle tool hold alt to move to ellipse tool and now i will hold shift to create a perfect circle like this and i will just bring it to middle and i will go to properties fill size and black effects control and now i will just uh, add a scale keyframe now i will just move the scale keyframe but i but i will start to make it zero and after a few frames i will move it back to so that it fills the screen it will be like this now what we need to do we need to bring these here and if we see these are white so i will just go and i will search for search for tint and i will apply it like this go to effects control and i will make the black color to white so it will be like this and for example i will just simply place these at three different locations so i will just but if we see we have a bit of 3d to these so to do that i will just go to effects and i will search for basic 3d like this and i will apply it to this layer and now if we see we can just simply move this in the 3d space approximately here and as you can see it's like this so this is like here and uh, if we see one is here and other one is upwards so i will make a copy of it select it and you can just simply paste it like this and from the settings you can just simply adjust this to the other side as well like here and one is below so i will just make a copy and i will paste it here approximately and i will select this again this will be here and now i will just go and i will search for directional blur i will just apply it to the one layer go to effects control and increase these i will move it to six approximately and i will copy the directional blur and i will paste it to the other two as well so it will be giving us this look but if we want to create this whole frame, uh, text animation so i will just make sure to add text and you can just apply uh, i will just move these layers forward approximately where the animation is completed like here look if you see um, i will just move it here and it will be like here and now for this text animation you can use the same text animation and use opacity one by one and if we move forward we have this animation the frame shift so if once this, this once this is ending i will just select all these nest them and i will cut this layer here and i can just go to position move a few frames and i can just simply move it like this but i will just move it like upwards and now i will just cut this and i will paste it here graphic layer so this is approximately to something like this uh the, just a shift to the next animation i will cut this and i will just delete this graphic too and now i will just uh, go in the this section and i will bring in this if you want to create this i will just show you how you can create these these are very easy to create first you will need a screenshot of your instagram make sure to follow me as well and now i will just move to canva you can just go to elements and from this you can just bring a frame like this and now then go to uploads and in the video for images section you can just bring this and it will automatically it will automatically fill the whole screen now if you want to animate it uh, 
if we see the animation it is like this so i will just first make sure to add a position keyframe and then this will be right here and then it will move out of the frame so i will just make sure to move this and i will select both keyframes and i can just simply ease in and then this tool and i can make the graph to something like this so it will be giving us this animation and if we see we have this background layer coming so i will just bring this twisted line to the timeline and uh, go to effects control simply just make it bigger like this and if we see its color it's gray so i will just apply the tint effect to it this tint effect like here and i will go to effects control and i will make it to gray like this so this will be like this and i will move this png upwards this will be down so like now to animate this if we use a uniform scale it will be converting like this so we don't need that so for this one we will be using uh, these opacity mask so i will select this pen tool and i will create a random mask around this to approximately something like here and this will be the mask so i will just scroll down and from this i will add a mask path and i will make this mask feather to zero i will move this as our final position now i will select the mask and i can bring the screen and if we see i will just bring these upwards like this and you can just simply bring these so that this vanishes so it will be giving us this animation i will just select both keyframes and then simply just uh, we cannot use in the mask so it will be like this now we will need to show the comments to this so these are the comments i will bring it here so these are um, animating approximately here so i will just make sure to go to effects control and i will select the pen tool and now i will zoom into the comments and i can just create a random mask layer like this like here approximately here and i will delete the mask feather to be zero now this is like here and now i can just simply make sure to go to effects and i have a preset of rough and edges i will apply this to this layer go to effects control and if we see i will just make sure to edge sharpness mm, this isn't working so i will just um, in the video these are like this so i will just use them like here the mask is a bit rough so i will adjust the mask as well mm, this will be right and uh, i can just simply move this approximately like this so this is uh, not perfect but it's okay good to go so i will just place uh, this comment like oh sorry i will just make sure to uh, position this approximately here now i will make another copy of it and now i can just simply go to mask and if we see we have this one this so i can bring in this one uh, i will just move up and i can position it somewhere else approximately here now i will make another copy of it and in the mask select it and move this finally at the end so it will be like here and now i can simply position it to somewhere else for to make this more good i will just drag this drop shadow preset to create a depth behind these like this and if we go to effects control you can just simply and just these values as well now to animate it we can animate it one by one i will just make sure to nest them first uh, i will just animate them together and if we see the anchor point the anchor point is in the middle so uh, first i will select the anchor point add the scale keyframe make it to zero and uh, at the start it will be like this and now i can just simply make it like here it will be giving us this animation you can just choose different things as well and that's it for today i hope you found this video helpful make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one until then take care and bye